For Krima Media's Polity, I'm Tabi Shomulikai. Joining me today is Umkondo Wesiza Liberation War Veterans Convener Dan Hato, here to discuss the newly formed Umkondo Wesiza Party and former President Jacob Zuma's support for the party. On December 16th, 2023, former President Jacob Zuma addressed the nation at Ipelecheng Center in Soweto, where he spoke about his political future. So can you tell us how this race concerned and caused dismay within the ranks of the ANC and Umkondowesi as veterans? Tabi, let me answer your question by uh, referring to a book written by one of us uh Bosi was an ambassador uh we used to call him klaus mapepa the title of the book says time is not the measure and uh, it has proven to me that uh, to some of us who have spent probably the rest of their lives or most of their lives within the ANC, that time hasn't made any difference. It is very much disingenuous for the former president in the first place to have chosen one of the days that we believe are so sacrosanct to members of Ukonto Esizwe, the December 16, uh, to go and uh, announce the formation of a new party using the name of Ukonto Esizwe using logos of Umkondo Isizwe, without any consultation for that matter. Not a single one of our senior commanders was consulted about this. And they were asking ourselves, what is it that the former president wants to achieve? And the only answer that we had was that all that he wants to achieve is to try by all means to exonerate himself of the problems that he's faced with. That is legally. I want to say again, it was disingenuous for the former president to have gone that far. To me, he's too much of an individualistic person. As revolutionaries, Tabi, we must be prepared to lead, but at the very same time must be prepared to be led. You cannot at all times think that you'll always be in the leadership positions. It has happened with us in the camps that you find today being a camp commander. Today, the very same person that you were commanding becomes your commander or your leader. And you have to respect that person. With the former president, with what he did on December 16, 2023, the only conclusion that we could reach was that this person, it is all about himself and nothing else. So we have attended to that. We are still attending to it. And as time goes on, it is proving that this was just a ploy and nothing else for him to defend himself or for him to run away from uh, responding to issues, especially in court. And how will the usage of the Umkonto Wesiza brand by the new party affect the ANC leading up to the elections later this year? We don't think it will affect the ANC much. You know, of course, there will be people. I mean, we've seen other parties coming in, uh, like the Congress of the People, you know. I mean, if you look into visuals around that time that hope was formed, you would swear that the ANC is facing a problem, you know. Of course, some damage would have been done. But even now, that is exactly what is happening. And even now, there are already those who have stopped in their tracks to say, I don't think this is a right decision to take. Why would I go and join a party that is not even clear about its constitution? Why would I go and join a party that doesn't even have policies? What would I join a party that its leaders are faceless? You know, just recently, about a week ago, you know, people were already fighting mm -hmm. about who appointed Bojo, the so-called, uh, this thing, acting secretary of Mkondo, a a party, a party that is hardly a month old, but there was already infighting in it. Mm -hmm. So, 
we as ANC, we as Umkondo is a liberation war veteran, without taking sides within the ANC itself, but doing the correct thing of renewing the party, of strengthening the party, we know very well as to what is it that we're supposed to be doing as military veterans in defending the African National Congress, not any individual, defending the African National Congress, which up to this day, no one can dispute that the African National Congress changed the complexion of South Africa after 1994. Yes, we agree, mistakes have been done, quite serious mistakes. And all what we are saying is that all we need is a need, is a will to change that, to correct those mistakes, to be honest to our people as to where do we want to go as a country. And that's exactly what we are doing uh, presently in steering the African National Congress in the right direction. So that is what we are prepared to do. We're not concerned, and we're not saying people should not have a, a right, you know, to, to associate themselves. People who want to go and form political parties, it is their democratic right. They should go and do that, but they should do it in a proper way because no one can dispute that the logo and even the colors that are being used by MK Party are the property of the African National Congress. And uh, you can see as to what he is doing. He's trying to lure in the young ones who when you look at their age, totally there's no way you can't have a military veteran at this point in time who is 40 years old, you know? So really, as I said that, it's really a shame from the former president to really use the plight of the people of South Africa. And as I said that, some of those people who immediately jumped into this ship are sitting back and saying, eh -eh, this is not it. And that part is only a month old. And the ANC has indicated that it will legally challenge the use of the name Umkonto Wesize by the new political formation because the name belongs to the party. So how far has the ANC gone with the legal actions? And do you think the ANC can win this case? The ANC has returned to this party uh, to explain to them. But of course, they've rejected the explanation of the ANC and they said they are continuing using uh, the logos, you know, uh, the brand of, of, of the African National Congress. And uh, there's no other route except to go to court. We as Umkondo is the Reparation War Veterans uh, have written to the ANC to say we would want to be part of that case because it affects us directly. We have lost comrades in this uh, uh, army of uh, the former army of Umkondo of the African National Congress. We left our comrades in Angola. We left our comrades in Tanzania. We left our comrades in Zambia and many other parts of the world. People would know what used to happen in Swaziland when a lot of our people were killed, even by the Swazi army themselves and the apartheid regime. And uh, we cannot really relax and uh, leave this to be by the ANC itself. Of course, the ANC is our mother body, and uh, we have requested that we would want to join the court case. As I said when we started, if Jacob Zuma takes himself to be the commander of Mkondo Wesizo, which we dispute, I want to say it right here, we know our commanders. We know people that we fought with in the forward areas, and that uh, we're not going to let this lie down. We're going to be part to protect this brand. We're going to be part of those who want to tell the people of South Africa the truth and nothing else. And that we have started to tell the truth because it is a lie that the former president was a senior commander of Umkondo Wesizu. He has never been. It is predicted that no single political party will win an outright 51% of the vote in this year's election. Thus, parties in the lead-up will need to support each other to form a government. So for the sake of smooth governance and uninterrupted service delivery, how can parties make this work? This can be done, uh, Tabin. Uh, but uh, we as Umkondo is the Liberation War Veterans, we are saying this, that we are going to do everything possible 
for the African National Congress to go and win the elections outrightly. I know it's not an easy task. It's a tough job looking at what has been happening in the past, where the very same person who wants to be catapulted into the higher seat now was there. And uh, he didn't do anything for the people of South Africa except for few families that uh, were there. So we are going to do everything in our power. But if it comes to a push, those coalitions that people are talking about should be principled ones. We cannot go to coalition simply because people want to be in power. We should go and work with other parties because we can see in them our policies, those policies of working for nobody else but the people of South Africa, improving their lives, making life better for them in a true sense of the word, not just making life better for a few individuals, but making life better for the people of South Africa. This is what we are planning for. And uh, as it is the case, even today, we are submitting a letter to the Secretary General of the ANC to say officially, we want to be part of the election campaign as Umkondo is the liberation of veterans. We have been part of it out of our own volition. Now it has to be official that Umkondo is is part of the committees or the teams that are preparing for an outright victory of the African National Congress. And lastly, then, Zuma had planned to visit the graves of Peter Malada and Collins Chabani, mm -hmm. and this was met with pushback from the families. So do you think this sends a clear message to Zuma and the new party? You can see there, uh, Tabi, that uh, this was an act of outright opportunism. Really, outright opportunism, because it is within our African culture to respect the dead. You do not just, out of your own volition, without even consulting the families. And now when the families stand up to speak for themselves, he is accusing the African National Congress of having sabotaged his um, uh, this thing, rallies he was going to have in, uh, in the Bombo. Those people are true members of the African National Congress. The ANC doesn't have to influence them. Comrade Peter Damboza fought a battle in, a, in, a, in Limpompo that no one else could, uh, could, 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 could forget. You know, Comrade Collins Chavane, we all know that he was one of the best cadres of the African National Congress. So for the former president to really misuse the history of these comrades, it's really unwarranted. And you can see the type of a person that we're dealing with here who at all costs would want to use uh, the, the history of our own comrades, disregarding or disrespecting even their families. It is there. The ANC never stood up or wrote uh, notices uh, that uh, there shouldn't be anyone visiting those graves. They stood up because themselves in their own right are members of the African National Congress. So there is no way that uh, the former president would accuse the ANC of having sabotaged his intentions. Uh, it is there. It is historical. The people of South Africa love the ANC. All what they are saying to the ANC, mend your ways. And then we agree with them. The ANC has to mend its ways because as far as we're concerned, it is the only political party that can be in a position to really make life better for the people of South Africa. And the ANC has to stick to its decisions. People who have done wrong need to account for their deeds. The ANC never sent them to go and do corruption. It is out of their own volition. So they need to stand for what they've done and account for what they did. And we're gonna make sure that it happens. People who have been mentioned in the Zondo Commission we're going to make sure that we support the Veterans League when it says those people must not be part of our electoral list. So we stick with that. And uh, we are of the opinion that with that in mind and the will 
to honestly change the African National Congress. It will cost us a great deal. It will take us to the success that we need in the coming general elections. That was Dan Hato speaking to Krima Media's polity about the newly formed Mukonto Wesiza party and former President Jacob Zuma's support for the party.